Hi, I'm Joan Chamberlain, physical therapist and manual therapist. I'm here up at Big Bear this morning and I wanted to do a video on um, low back pain and, and leg length discrepancies. You know, I get uh, so many of my low back patients come in and they tell me that their doctors have diagnosed them with a short leg or a leg length discrepancy. In fact, I had a patient just recently that came in with a half inch heel lift. That's a really big heel lift in her shoe. Uh, and she had been uh, improperly diagnosed with a short leg because actually she had a functional short leg because of her unstable pelvis. And I wanted to kind of explain to you how that happens, but this patient was um, experiencing more pain, more symptoms, and more uh, dysfunction and degeneration in her hip as a result of wearing that lift that was unnecessary. So I wanted to go in this morning and look at the model and show you how that functional leg length discrepancy happens when you have an unstable pelvis. So. Let's go inside and look at the model. Hi, here we are next to the model here that shows the pelvis and the spine and the hip. And uh, as you can see, this is the front part of the model. In the back part of the model in the pelvis, this is the sacroiliac joint. Here's the actual hip. Here's the top of the pelvis and here's the spine. So if you, you know, can imagine kind of my hands as being the, the anomnate bones here and my forearms here being the femurs, you can see how when the pelvis rotates out of alignment, it tends to rotate forward and backward. That's dysfunctional, the dysfunctional movement in the pelvis, which is so common and to create low back pain and problems. So if you can imagine my hands and this is the pelvis moving out of alignment and you can see that when the pelvis rotates forward and backward you can see how it creates a leg length discrepancy. Can you see how my my forearms are moving up and down as the pelvis rotates into that abnormal position? This is exactly what happens in your pelvis when you have an unstable pelvis and you can see how that can create a functional leg length discrepancy. So what you want to do is make sure when you're going to when you're thinking about putting a lift in your shoe and you've been diagnosed by your healthcare professional as having a short leg, you want to make sure that that healthcare professional has ruled out that pelvic component because you do not want to have a functional leg length discrepancy and have a heel lift put in the bottom of that functional leg leg discrepancy and support the pelvis and the femur in the unstable, unnatural position with a lift because all you're going to do is create more pain, more dysfunction, more degeneration in the lumbar spine and the hip. So it's really important that you make sure that you level and stabilize your pelvis. Okay, so if you are unable to get to a healthcare provider that really understands the pelvis, you can purchase or download my DVD, The Missing Link to Neck and Back Pain Relief, which gives you stretches where you can stretch the muscles that are pulling your spine and pelvis out of alignment, and it gives you strengthening exercises that strengthen the muscles that hold your pelvis in alignment, and they are very effective exercises. So. Create a pain-free life and stabilize your pelvis.